Air taxis, you know, it sounds like something out of the Jetsons, <laughs> but they're becoming reality. And Joe B Aviation will soon be making them right here in the Miami Valley. I wish the Jetsons were here right now, you know. <laughs> no. For the last six months, New Center 7's John Bedell worked to get rare access with the company to see how the innovative aircraft are being tested. John traveled across the country to learn more about the unique job opportunities these futuristic flyers will bring to Dayton. The winds of change are blowing at Dayton's airport. The future of aviation will be taking off here soon. To see where it's coming from, Thank you, John. we took a flight to California's Monterey Bay Area and Joby Aviation. It's pretty exclusive in terms of who actually gets to be inside the buildings here um, and see what we're doing. We saw their electric air taxis up close. They take off and land like a helicopter, fly like a plane, and carry a pilot and four passengers for trips of up to 100 miles. Eric Allison with Joby told me you'll order a ride through the Uber or Delta Airlines app. Pricing per seat to start about the cost of an Uber Black, basically a luxury ride share. Would you use something like that? Absolutely. I think it's needed more and more as, as the traffic gets worse and uh, people are trying to get places a lot faster. I've had the sound of one of these Joby air taxis described to me before, but now for the first time, we're going to be able to hear it for ourselves with a test flight. Joby told me this low to the ground maneuvering the pilot demonstrated is important for the FAA's final approval process. Everything from design to production, maintenance, pilot training, and the aircraft itself have to meet the FAA's rigorous safety standards. Just the aircraft design piece is like the biggest piece of that certification process, and it's extremely detailed. Joby plans on hiring 2,000 people in Dayton. Jobs like machine operators, production managers, manufacturing engineers and quality engineers, plus operators for both subtractive and additive manufacturing. Them picking Ohio for us, it's monumental. The Dayton Development Coalition told me they've already seen the ripple effects of Joby's investment in the Miami Valley. We've had other companies now contacting us for potential projects. There have been a couple wins in Ohio. We feel those are direct results of relationships with companies like Joby. Joby wouldn't talk specifics when I pressed about pay range for their Dayton jobs, but we got some insight from state incentives. Jobs Ohio closed an agreement with the company last summer for talent acquisition services and a $110 million grant. Records show that project assistance is tied to commitments from Joby, those 2,000 new jobs, more than $140 million in annual payroll, and more than $477 million in capital investment. On top of that, the Ohio Department of Development Tax Credit Authority has awarded Joby a tax credit valued at $93 million. Joby's already started refurbishing the building they bought at Dayton's airport, and they're starting the planning to move equipment here. They expect to start making air taxi parts in Dayton later this year, with plans to expand production in the Miami Valley. That's the vision, ultimately, to be able to produce hundreds of aircraft a year out of the, the set of facilities that we stand up there in, uh, in the Dayton area. Seems pretty cool, John. Uh, John Bedell joins us live. And you covered the story when Joby announced that it was moving to Dayton. This was a year and a half ago now. Joby has already started hiring in our area. Yeah. They have, Cheryl. They told me that they started that process late last year. And if you might be interested in applying for a job with Joby right here in Dayton, we have a link on our website, whio.com. Joby also has some work to do to get their manufacturing process ready for large scale right here in Dayton. I'll have that part of the story tomorrow on New Center 7, beginning at 5. We look forward to it. Anyone who gets a job with Joby, they'll be on the cutting edge of what's happening. John Bedell reporting live. Thank you.